I was thinking of, of the scripture in verse 9 here. It said, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid. So fierce uh, uh, as a strong, um, <clears throat> is a strong spirit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, it, uh, and it probably affects each and every one of us. Now, I yep. know that we should fear God and we should keep his commandments. But that doesn't make me feel bad. It doesn't torment me at all. When I fear God and I keep his commandments, there's a peace that comes over me like none that the world has ever known. Right. Money can't buy it. But those that want it can have it because God said in his word, the ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Amen. I'm asking God to keep me this coming year that at the end of the next 365 days, if I should live that long, that I'll still be praising Him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That my heart and my desire is that when it's all said and done, that I'll still be doing the things that God has called me to do. Yeah. I'll still be using the gift that God has given to me to use for His glory. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for that. A new year. Yeah. I'll tell you what is coming. It's not here yet, uh, but uh, this is the last Sunday of this year, and so I'd like to talk a little bit about don't allow fear to stop you from doing the things that God has called you to do. Right. Amen. And, and wouldn't it be wonderful that if you could start serving the Lord today, uh -huh. and at the end of this year, you'd say, Amen, God is my God and my help. Yeah. And He's brought Amen. me through this year. Yes. Amen. 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 Um, A.D., the, the year of our Lord, someone once said. You, uh, you crown the year with your goodness. Amen. And God does that, doesn't he? And we read uh, throughout the Bible of God's goodness and how good God is and how all the day long he supplies us and loads us with his benefits. On the, uh, one fellow said, uh, I'll know the goodness of God on a special day. He said, what day is that? He said, that's on the 32nd day of the 13th month of the 8th day of the week. We will find the things we seek after. How many knows that day is never going to come? No. Right. Not build up like that. I can find the things that I seek after today if I'll search for them with all my heart. Yes. The Bible said if I will ask that God would give to me. He said if you pray and ask God for the Holy Ghost, God will give you the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what, then that's something we ought to be praying about. Yes. If we'll pray for the Holy Ghost, God's not going to give us a serpent. Right. God's not going to let the uh, Houdini spirit or whatever it was about him uh, 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 yeah. be some type of a yeah. counterfeit spirit that That's I'm right. asking for. I'm going to pray that God would baptize us with the Holy Ghost yeah. Yeah. and yeah. that we would enjoy his blessings yeah. uh, in a greater measure. What a wonderful thing it is that we can pray for and God will supply the need. Amen. <coughs> One fellow said it this way, he said, time has no divisions to make its passage. There is, a, there is never a thunderstorm to announce the beginning of the new year. It is only we mortals who ring bells and fire off pistols. Mm -hmm. huh. You see, one day is the same as the next. We started off serving the <coughs> Lord many years ago, and many days ago. Today, by God's grace and through the Lord Jesus Christ, we're still standing here holding high the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ, yes. proclaiming victory and telling everybody that the anchor holds. Amen. Thank God for the anchor. Yes. We've got an anchor right here in God's book, Amen. in this old Bible. Amen. And I'll tell you what, in this filled with the promises of God and their yea and amen. We thank God for His Word. Amen. It's not. Uh, it was not separated. It's not divided. Even by a uh, by a uh, something that we could say this tangibly happened. So now we know it's the new year. Matter of fact, different people worship God at different times of the new year, and they do it in different ways. Now yeah. I could. We could uh, look at some of those ways. We may do it before we're done. But there was one person that I'd like to mention. Her name was Frances Ridley uh, Habergale. And uh, she took it on New, uh, New Year's Day and she made up a card and she had it printed off and she sent it to her friends and this was her desire and her, and her thought. She said, another year is dawning, dear father, let it be. In working or in waiting, another year with thee. Another year of progress, another year of praise, another year of proving, 
of thy presence all the days. I'll tell you what, that's what I'm going to do this year. My New Year's resolution is to serve the Lord and to call upon his name and to worship him in spirit and truth. Come into the house of God. Yes, amen. And let him openly bless me because I've secretly praised amen. him and sought him during the course of the day. Joshua in the Old Testament had to uh, take a, on a job that would belong to Moses. Uh, Moses had died and Joshua even had taken on the job of running the, uh, the, uh, uh, the children of Israel and crossing over into the Canaan land. He had a job to do, didn't he? He had a big job to do. And the Bible said this, and uh, God's instructing him, said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and uh, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All of, although God gave him a promise, something was going to stand in his way. And he said, And have not I commanded thee, uh, Joshua, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Sometimes fear stops us from doing the will of God. Right. We're afraid of what man might think. Right. We're afraid of, of right. how we may fail and how foolish we may seem uh, uh, before those whom uh, we have made a mistake. Right. And I'll tell you what, uh, when you show me a perfect person, I'll show you Jesus Christ. Yeah, amen. Amen. He's totally the perfect one, wasn't he? Yeah. And all of us are going to make mistakes. All of us are going to uh, maybe feel a little foolish from time to time. But in the process of it, I'm going to be a fool for Christ's sake. Why? Because he was willing to die for me on a tree uh, so many years ago. And I thank God for him. In his strength, I can live. There was a man by the name of, of uh, Matthew Henry. He wrote a commentary back in the 1700s, a long time ago. And uh, he was a man that sought after God, a man that done a lot of great things and, and wrote uh, books and that people are still enjoying I mean, the, the things that God had showed him that he put down on paper. They're reading it and enjoying it even yet today. But yet his very words was, he said, for I am very weak. He felt like he was the weakest among people. The Apostle Paul said, for I am the chiefest of sinners. Yeah. Right. Amen. So even in our best efforts, we feel like we're not good enough. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, we can't let that not good enough, we can't let that weakness stop us from trying. Even if we do, then the devil wins. Right. But if we'll get up and we'll do what we can as God gives us glory and gives us strength to do it, amen, uh, we'll win because we're on his side and he's on ours. Have not I commanded thee, he said, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. I thank God uh, that he is the victor. Amen. <clears throat> the other uh, night, uh, I believe it was Friday night, it might have been even up into Saturday morning. Right about that time, sometime during the night, I, I was... I was I was in my dream, and I was saying something to somebody, don't know who it was, but they were telling me how rough that they had it, and how that they were afraid they weren't going to make it, and on and on, and I told them to be not afraid. Uh -huh. I told them uh, that God is with them, and I told them that uh, fear is not something that, uh, that uh, sickness that we get over. Fear is a spirit. Yes that we come against in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and we overcome it. Yes. Well, I know there's a fear that's a healthy fear of God. And I know we're raised not to put our hand on a hot stove. That's if we fear that it would burn our finger. I would hope that you'd have enough sense not to go swimming in water over your head if you can't swim. Right. Hey, but I would think that, uh, that these things we fear naturally. Uh -huh. But there's a spirit that torments people, Amen. and that's called the spirit of fear. And God has not given it to us. Amen. We don't overcome that by waiting. Waiting is not the answer. We don't get better. We get worse because Amen. that spirit only Amen. wants to torment us. Amen. Right? Preach it, brother. But I'll tell you something. We can overcome that spirit because greater is he that's in yes. us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Jesus said in the scripture, amen, uh, he said, uh, uh, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Yeah. Amen. Uh, fear, can you imagine the fear that must have been on Joshua's life when he thought about taking this millions of people and, and doing something with them that Moses had failed to do? Amen. Now God had given him the responsibility. Somebody had to take it. When the leader stepped down or died, someone else had to step up. 
Right. Amen. Right. Someday that'll be you and I. Right. Amen. And we will be stepping up where someone else steps down. Yeah. We might have to be the one stepping up. But in the process, don't be afraid. Yeah. Be strong and of good courage. God's going to be with us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Amen. The Bible said so. Yes. Amen, Amen, brother. All things Hallelujah. work together for good to them that love God and to them who know they are called according to his purpose. Matthew and Henry said, for I am very weak. He said, in the strength of the grace of Jesus Christ, that will I endeavor this year to stand complete in all the will of God. Not in myself, but in Christ. <coughs> Not in myself, but in Christ. Amen. I'll tell you what, seniority means nothing. All the victories that we had in our past, let's collect them, let's remember them, but let's remember who gave them to us. It wasn't us, it was Christ in us. It was Jesus Christ who has given us the strength, amen, to take one day at a time, and if we take one day at a time, it's not long until that one day turns into one year. Amen, brother. And then, then that uh, one year turns into a, a lifetime, yeah. amen, of serving the Lord that's as right. we take it one day at a time. Amen. We've got a life that's ahead of us. I don't know how much. Amen. People, young people are dying every day. The devil seems to yep. be uh, 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 just taking them out by the bus load. But I'll tell you one thing. My faith is in Christ. Amen. My hope is in the Lord. If I die today, amen, I want you to tell everybody that Tom Fuller is now with Jesus yeah, Christ. That's right. Right. Why? Because that's where I'm heading one of these days. Amen. Brother. Amen. Time has a way of just spending it, doesn't it? I remember when I was young. Amen. I was a young man. Amen. I couldn't wait to get my driver's license. I, I, I tell you what, I, I'd do anything to build a drive a car, you know. Sixteen came along. I got my first car. Amen. Uh, and, I, and I loved it. It was just an old cheap car. Paid $75 for it. <laughs> Sold it for $50 and went deer hunting. <laughs> Amen. I'd go deer hunting too. Amen. So I, I didn't have no money. So I thought, well, I'll sell this old car. I sold it for 50 bucks. Went deer hunting. Come back and bought me a $300 Ford, Mercury. Amen. Comet. Yeah. Man, worst mistake ever made. I'll tell you that. But, uh, but nonetheless, uh, uh, what we do in life, we just do it. But we learn we do it one day at a time. Right. Time has a way of, 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 of just going, doesn't it? Uh -huh. One a fellow had written this. He said, when I was a child, I laughed and I wept. And time crept. When I, and as a youth, I dreamed and I talked, and time walked. When I became full-grown man, time ran. When older still, I daily grew, time flew. Soon I shall be traveling on, time gone. Yeah. What are you going to do for Jesus? That's right. I think to myself, you know what the greatest waste that there is, is for a man to waste his life. That's right. And the waste is you. Yeah. It's time today to serve the Lord. That's right. The Bible said, this is the day the Lord hath made. Right. Salvation is for today. Thank the Lord. And he tells us not to despise our youth, but to use it for his glory. Now the youth, I don't know if they can hear me back there in the back, uh, in, the, in the room back there. But I'll tell you one thing. If they're just wasting their time, it won't be long until their time's going to begin to walk. Yep. And then it's going to begin to run, and then it's going to fly, and then it's going to be gone. Yeah, that's right. If they're fortunate enough to have go through the steps, yeah. we don't ever know. Right. Matthew Henry. <clears throat> How do you put it? He said that a golden thread of holiness may run through the whole web of this year. My desire is to live for Christ. I don't know what the day is going to bring, but I know who holds the day in his hand. And I'm glad for that today. Over in the book of Timothy, amen, I remember looking at this person in my dream and saying to this person, amen, that uh, you, we need to come against fear uh, in the name of Jesus. And then I quoted a scripture from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 7. It said, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind if God uh, hasn't given us the spirit of fear and there must be the spirit of fear he wouldn't say the spirit of fear he said but of love or power of love and a sound mind maybe there's a spirit of power right I believe there is Holy Ghost 
Maybe it was a spirit of love, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God loves us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then a sound mind. Aren't you glad that God takes our minds uh, and the devil likes to, that's, a, that's the battleground. That's what it's all happening at. Yes. Even a bad thought comes to our mind, we reject it or we entertain it. Yeah. One fellow said, I can't quit living wrong because the thoughts keep coming to my mind. So you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, but you don't have to let him build a nest in your hair. Right. What do you think about when that bad thought comes to your mind? It's going to tell who you are. Amen. Either you love it or you'll hate it. Yeah. If you hate it, rebuke it in the name of Jesus and think about good things that are pure and holy and lovely and of good report. And our God will be with you as you concentrate your mind on Him. Amen. Mind, uh, one fellow said, a mind's a terrible thing to waste, and I'll agree with that. As I read these scriptures, I'm going to read verse 5 and 6. So when I call to remember the unframed faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and in thy mother Eunice, and, uh, and I am persuaded that is in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by the putting on of my, of my hands. You know, stir it up. We've got a gift to do for God. A bunch of soldiers sitting around a room. The officer walks in. The soldiers jump to their feet. And they stand at attention and give salute to the officer. The officer says, at ease. They go back to standing normal. You know, I think the devil said at ease. Yeah. And the church has sat down uh -huh. too long. Yeah. Right? God's here. And we reverence him by standing at attention. Amen. We reverence him by not going to sleep on him. Right. Yeah. We reverence him by giving him glory. Yes. We reverence him not by at ease in Zion, mm -hmm. but we reverence him as paying attention. Yes. The Bible tells us to be sober. Amen. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a walking lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Jesus said to Peter, he said, Peter, Satan wishes to sift you as wheat. Said, but I pray for you that your faith fails not. Even in the midst of the time when you feel like you're sifted, in the midst of the time when you don't know what you're going to do, God is there to help us along the way. Amen. He is our God. Yes. He is our strength. And he's given us promise. And the promise that he gave said, I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee, that I'll be with thee unto them, even unto the end of the world. Verse 8 said, Be not, there, uh, be not thou therefore ashamed, of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. Are you ashamed of Jesus? You'll only know that if someone say, makes fun of you a little bit and says, you're not one of them Jesus freaks, are you? <laughs> Come on. And you say, no, I don't know him. Right. Or you say, yeah, I, I'm a Christian. Amen. 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 Jesus is Savior and Lord of my life. Yes, sir. Amen. And you'd be wise if you'd take him as well. Yeah. Amen. That's right. I'll tell you what, that would separate you. Yeah. yeah. But you, God would know that you're not ashamed of him. Right. He said, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Now verse 9 is one you've got to pay attention to. He said, who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, not according to me quit smoking, drinking, cussing, dragging, taking um, yellow pills, blue pills, green right. pills. Come on. That don't save me. What saves me is believing in Jesus Christ yeah. and accepting him as my Lord. Yeah. He said, uh, he said, who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, uh, but according to his own purpose and grace, yes. which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. I think we've got a Savior, even that, that, uh, that was alive before he was born. Right. Amen. Yeah. We've got a Savior that even though he died, he's still alive. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. He lives today yes, and is set at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for your, uh, you and I. His name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. He is our Savior. Amen. He's a wonderful Savior, isn't he? Yes. Amen. As we read these scriptures, Apostle Paul said in the 12th verse, he said, For this 
For the which cause I also suffer these things. What things? Oh, he said, uh, being a prisoner of Jesus Christ. But be thou partakers of the afflictions of the gospel. Amen. He said, I've, I've been afflicted. I've been shipwrecked. I've been beaten. I've been cast into prison. All these things. He said, nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. For I know, he says, whom I have believed. Yes. And I'm persuaded. Yeah. Amen. That he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I give my life to Christ. Amen. Matter of fact, uh, one fellow said, don't put all your eggs in the same basket. I already have. Amen. There's only one basket, and I'll tell you what, that's Jesus Christ, and all my eggs are in that basket. Amen. 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 He's the only one that I know of that said, I'm going to die and raise again in three days. Yes. I'll tell you what, if you want to show me a God and you want me to serve him, if he said he's going to die and he did die and he rose and rise again in three days and he rose again in three days, I'll serve him. Amen. But I'll tell you what, Jesus is the only one that's done that. I thank God that he lives in my heart. Brother Larry said to Donna, Brother Larry sent me a text yesterday. And in that text it talked about how the Lord would dwell between the shoulders. And I thought, what's between the shoulders? I said, the head's between the shoulders. And I said, hey, I don't want it just dwelling in my mind. Then I got to think about, you know what? The head's up here. It's above the shoulders. Yeah. That heart somewhere down in here right. between yeah. the shoulders. Yeah. That's where God's going to dwell is in the heart. Yes, sir. And I thought, Lord, thank you that yeah. you're dwelling in my heart. Amen, you brother. live in my heart. Yeah. You've given me a heart that wants to serve you. Hallelujah. And today that's the reason I'm not like all the other people that are without Christ. It's because God lives in my heart. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's beautiful. Amen. Won't you let him in? Have you not let him in yet? I remember Brother Garland Cook standing before the congregation and saying, you know, there's about 18 inches between the top of my head to my heart. Right. He said, some people got Jesus up here, but they never got him down yeah. here. Right. Tell you what, when you get him down here, be not afraid. Take courage. Yes. Have confidence. Yes. Believe God. Yes. Even greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Right. The word of God will begin to mean something to us yep. as we take on him and know him. And love him. How wonderful it is Amen. that we can. Yes. There's seven fear knots in the Bible. I'm not going to preach every one, but I'm going to read them. Amen. And, uh, and out of these seven fear knots, uh, God's telling us not to be afraid. Amen. Uh, first one found in Genesis chapter 26 and verse 24. And God said to the, uh, to the ancestors of Abraham, he said this. And the Lord appeared unto him the same night. And said, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, uh, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed uh, for my servant Abraham's sake. God said, Fear not, for I am with thee. Yes. When we're going through the storms of this life, fear not. God is with us. Amen. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even unto the end of the world. Supplies our needs in the time of famine. Yes, it does. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 13 said, And Elijah uh, said unto her, Fear not. Here it is again, fear not. Say that God wanted to tell us we don't have to be afraid to live our lives as long as we're living for him. He said, Fear not. Uh, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first uh, and bring it unto me and after make for, the, uh, for thee and for thy son. When he first asked for that cake, this woman looked at him and said, I just got a little bit of meal and a little bit of oil, and me and my son are collecting sticks, he said, so we can build us a fire and bake us a cake and die. They run out of food. Uh -huh. And this prophet had the gall or the audacity to say, even to this woman, make me a cake first. Yeah. Right. And then she had the faith to believe what he had to say. Right. She was going to eat that cake and die. But I'll tell you what, she made him a cake first and that wheel, meal barrel never ran out. Amen. Right? That oil cruise never went empty right. until the famine was over with and food was abund abundant again. Right. Amen. God's got a way if we'll be obedient to him to take care of us, won't he? Amen. 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 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 16 And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Oh, the devil would like to tell us you're going to lose this battle, but we're going to win it. Why? Because we're going to hold on to yeah. that hand Amen, uh, amen. He said, uh, fear not, for they that be with us 
I'm more than they that be with them. Oh, I tell you what, their eyes were open that day. The prophet said to uh, his, uh, his uh, servant there, and he, and he said, God opened up his eyes that he can see. Yeah. All the servant could see was the army that had surrounded them that, while they were slept that night and looked like they were going to die because they were, uh, they were outnumbered. When God opened up his eyes, he looked in the hills and the mountains were filled with angels. And they were all in all their armor and they were ready to fight the battle. I'll tell you what that needed to be fought. God sends reinforcement in the time of, a, of our battles. And we don't have nothing to fear, even though the devil would tell us we do. We are more than conquerors yes. to fights which strengthen yes. us. It is Christ in us the hope of glory. Yes. Hallelujah. One day we're going to make glory. But right now we're just hoping. Hallelujah. But we're trusting. And our faith tells us it's going to be just fine. Yes. Psalms 46.1 said, The Lord is my strength, yes. my refuge. A very present help in trouble. I went to the window at McDonald's this morning, and I paid for my my uh, bill, and, and I asked the guy that was taking my money. And I said, "How are you today?" And he said, "It's a long story." He said, and it took a while for him to answer. And he said, "I don't know what I'm going to do." And I said, "Do you believe God?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Do you believe God's bigger than your problem? He's going to take care of you." I said, you can forget my name is Tom. It won't mean nothing. But I'm going to tell you there's a man by the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is Lord of all. Amen, brother. He's going to help you even through those problems that you're facing if you yes. put your trust in him. Amen. I tell you what, wherever we go, we have an opportunity to tell somebody, don't be afraid. Yeah. Stand with Jesus. <clears throat> Let him show you that he's going to take you through. Listen to this in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 through 3. Love these scriptures. I'm sure you know some of them. He said, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee. Oh yeah, we're talking about our creator. Yeah. He said, uh, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Hallelujah. If, if God, who made everything, says that I belong to him, then I've got nothing to worry about. Right. He's going to take care of us. This verse 2. He said, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. When the when the the wild passes through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Verse thirty, uh, verse three said, uh, "For I am holy, no, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee." Amen. God, I'll tell you what, if he, he, he'd turn the world upside down and dump heaven out uh, before he would change his word. His word is true. If he said, I'll never leave you, then we can count on the mid fact that God will never leave us. Hallelujah. And this is what I chuckled in my spirit when I read this morning. It was in Revelation chapter 1, verse 17 and 18. It said, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. I can almost see myself doing that. Yeah. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Yes. I am Alpha and Omega, he's saying. Uh, the first and the last. Yeah. So I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys to hell and of death. I'm not nothing to worry about, do I? Amen. Hallelujah. God said, I'm with you. God said, I'll never leave you. Right. God said, if the, if the rivers will not overflow you, right. the desert's not going to reach your door. Amen. Even famine may come, but I'm going to supply your need. Yes, Even fear may uh, be there, but it's going to walk on the outside of faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Faith is going to be the victor. He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Do you believe him? Amen. Daniel in the lion's den. David facing Goliath. The three Hebrew children faced the fiery furnace. Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Moses and the Egyptian army. And all through all of them, and we could continue to name them, but God, by faith, was with them. And they'd have nothing to fear because God fought their battles yes, for them. Yes, and he's yes, fighting for us yes, today. Hallelujah. Yes, we have the Savior today yes, that knows yes, what we are going yes, through. Yes, and knows what we have need of even before we ask for it. Yes. Oh, yes. And the list goes on. Hallelujah. But well, I'm so glad that we don't stand alone. I'm going to go back over here to, uh, to the scripture that we read. 
And he said this, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Hallelujah. I made another uh, mark on a scripture that was, that was noteworthy. Amen. That one that we probably should share. Amen. If I can find it. Yes. God keeps our mind. Right. Sometimes our mind, without Christ, gets overwhelmed. Right. We don't know what to do. Fear comes on us. And if we're not in the Word, and we're not in prayer, like we should be, yeah. then that fear has a way of, of attacking us pretty hard. Yes, sir. But God gives us spiritual sanity. Yes. He keeps our minds and our hearts through Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. The Bible says, Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. Amen. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of a sound mind. Again, Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Young men, talking to young men. Likewise, exhort to be sober. Amen. Minded. Amen. God's keeping our mind, isn't he? God is our strength. Some people are, are like the, uh, the, the, the thought here. He said, on the 32nd day of the 33rd of the 13th month hmm. on the 8th day of the week we will find the things that we seek hmm. you're never going to find it there right? but you'll find it right here Amen, Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. this old Bible will, will be the answer for you Amen. Amen let's pray Amen. Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord for your word and we thank you